All right, so a couple weeks ago, we all saw this glorious demo of the new Meta Ray-Bans 2 in which it spectacularly failed on multiple occasions, but no one knew why it failed until just recently. The cat is out of the bag, so we're going to go over it. But first, if you didn't see the demo, you just got to watch it, okay? The, the pain is actually palpable. Here we go. So he wants to cook. Let the man cook. What do I do first? Oh, I'm embarrassed for what him. What do I do first? Oh, I'm cringing. You've already combined the base ingredients. So now grate a pear to add to the sauce. Oh, oh. oh that's the face of cringe, by the way. I'm wondering if, if scientists could distill cringe into a pure, delicious liquid ooze. It would come in the format of this man's face right here. This is tough to watch, okay? I'm not, I'm not used to this. That poor piece of meat in the background just wants a little bit of delicious Korean steak sauce. And it's just not happening. What do I do? <laughs> All right, I think the Wi-Fi might be messed up. Sorry, back to you, Mark. By the way, I love that excuse. Um, the fact that he's streaming live video just to be like, I guess there's no bandwidth for this problem. Okay, that's the problem. I'm not having enough bandwidth. Also, by the way, live video, back to you, bud. <laughs> I love that excuse. Okay, but what actually happened here? Why did this fail? Well... This video clip, unfortunately, did not show it. He said how he was going to make a delicious Korean steak sauce right there live in front of any everybody with absolutely no experience in cooking. He was just going to make it happen. Did some sort of like, hey, hey, Meta Ray-Bans, let's do a steak sauce together. And that's when all the trouble actually happened. And here's why. Boz just explained why the Meta AI demo failed, which is hilarious. Reminds me of the South Park triggered every Amazon Alexa device during an episode. When the chef said, hey, Meta, start live AI, it started every single Ray-Ban Meta's live AI in the building. They were in front of an audience of hundreds of people all wearing the glasses in which every last Ray-Ban there started up a live demo attempting to try to figure out what the heck happened. Now, here's the deal. The live demo wasn't on their production servers. It was actually being served off a single machine that they've set up specifically for that purpose. So the single machine which was meant to process like one concurrent request at a time, all of a sudden got hundreds of requests and they basically DDoS themselves. Now here's the best part is that I can't actually blame them for this kind of stuff. If you, dude, you know, you know when you've set up tech demos, that stuff is held together by toothpicks and hot glue. You are just hoping that it's not gonna fall apart in front of everybody. The amount of demos I've had fail live is exceedingly high and sometimes it fails i know why it's failed but it appears to be working and then i just keep on going like oh that's intended behavior no that was meant for... i meant for that to oh we don't want that oh okay i thought we wanted that i thought we wanted that oh okay okay but also you know what's really funny about this is that there was this long time that we would do at netflix where we'd walk around and during like especially in the device area you just walk by and be like, hey, Alexa, and you just, bloo, 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 right? You just keep on walking on by because you could get Siri to start. You could get uh, Alexa to start. You could get uh, Cortana. Oh, man, Cortana. Cortana back in the day was just a killer because it was slow, it was long, and it halted all progress. And nothing was more funny than when someone was testing to walk by and get Cortana to pop up for a good 45 second break from everything they're doing. Oh, and so the fact that this, the most classic of the classics, was in fact the downfall of the AI demo just warms my heart. You know, it's just the, it's just like the right kind of level of put together toothpaste that we needed. Also, I don't know what to, uh, put together toothpaste means. I meant toothpicks with glue on it and somehow toothpaste came out instead. And now I just have this really gross idea of just toothpaste, everyone. Now, a lot of people are going to come up with a bunch of, like, these, these excuses for why it's bad. Yeah, it's struggling to handle a few under concurrent devices for a product that's supposed to be worn in public and sold on a global scale is actually worse because it was an infra issue. This, in fact, highlights just how funny this oopsie-daisy was because you just, you don't consider these things when you're testing. And I cannot tell you, I just don't know what it is or why it is. When I start testing and building a product, I swear I fall into this weird little like myopic tunnel where I just do this like certain pathway over and over again. And when I go out of bounds to really test it, I'm still within this like really hyper specific kind of thought through universe. I just watched my kid play my tower defense game, which I've been making for a while now. And when I watched him make like play it, 
I was just cringing at the ways he was using it because I'm like, well, you're, you're not actually supposed to do it that way. And I realized, no, I'm the wrong one. Watching other people play makes me realize that there are so many unintuitive ways to play this game. Holy cow. And this is just what happened here. It's just that they just didn't simply expect that many things coming in. They just didn't, didn't have it set up. They just simply had a singular dev station set up, which is confirmed right here by Jake. We had been routing traffic for Live AA to a dev server to try and avoid situations like this. But turned out that everyone at MPK was being routed through this server, including all attendees. What a glorious day. Hey, hopefully this gives you confidence to remember that no matter what happens, you probably won't do this to yourself at your next tech demo. And so, you know, hey, come on, chin up. Chin up. If, if, if old Zuck can do this, you can do it too, okay? Not a big deal. And you know what? Honestly, this always gives me more confidence just in the showcasing tech demo scene because you just got to remember that everybody screws this up this is like the most classic debacle this is murphy's law to a t that anything that can go wrong will go wrong and it always seems to go wrong when lying anyways i just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the situation because i just always just assumed it was some sort of internal oopsie daisy but i didn't realize it was just this funny that's all it was just this funny. Just a classic Scooby-Doo scramble. That's all. The name is... Do you like how my dog is slightly in here? Hey. Hi. Are you sleeping? Oh, are you sleepy dog? Sleepy dog. I don't want to disturb sleepy dog. All right. Oh, Jen.